harness racing? <laughs> to me, harness racing is my life. I mean, it's my blood, it's what I do. Fourth generation harness racer Mike McGee is about to take the track at the Vernon County Fair in Viroqua. You better have some butterflies when you go out to the track or you're gonna wind up hurt or dead. <laughs> you always go to the track feeling you're going to win. There's that much excitement, just thinking that the comp competition and you got a chance to win and everybody's just wound up. Okay, drivers, bring them to the gate. We will score three wide. Then you start to go toward the starting gate. Everybody maneuvers to get into position. You get to the gate, and as it picks up speed, so does your heart. 20. And you have to decide, do I try to go to the front with my horse? Do I hold my horse back? Do I try to find a position in at the rail to shorten the race a little bit? 25. By the time you hit the wire, the horses are going all they can go. Go. Yeah. Everyone's next to each other and the nostrils are flaring on the horses and you're going as fast as you can go. And uh, that's when your plans go out the window. Planned or not, Mike shares his family's long-term love for harness racing and a sporting tradition that dates back to the country's earliest days. It started early 1800s with the farmers racing their horses up the road. Come on. The McGee family's association with horses goes back to ancient Ireland. Usually I just turn him loose and he walks down to a stall. Gary and wife Donna keep the tradition alive on their horse farm near Shawno. My grandparents bought this farm at the end of the driveway. It says McGee Family Farm, and, and it is. We look at it kind of like we're the caretakers. Gary's great-grandfather started the family racing tradition. Gary's dad pursued it professionally, and Gary grew up splitting his time between here and the Chicago harness racing track. Growing up fast in it, by the time I was 14, dad was leaving me alone with a stable in Chicago. It wasn't your typical, typical life, I guess, of a family. It's exciting. It's a business. It's not as much a family atmosphere. Mom and dad did an awfully good job with us because uh, there is an environment there that could lead you astray. While other members of the extended McGee clan are among the winningest drivers in the sport, back home in Wisconsin there aren't professional tracks and wagering. Here, harness racing is done mostly at county fairs, where it all began. The county fair that we're at, the Vernon County Fair, this is, this is, this is here because of harness horse racing. That's why the county fair exists because they needed something for all the people that came to watch the races to do. It's the reason for the rides and the games and the demolition derbies. We're the reason they're here. And at the fairs, harness racing is done just for the joy of it. A timeless thrill ride where time almost stands still. You're thinking things so fast that the whole race slows down as long as the race feels in slow motion. I will keep racing. You try to get your horse into a position where they got a chance to win. If you're in front, it's one of the biggest thrills you're gonna get. Well, this is Gary and this is Mike. Chasing that thrill has been the shared passion for generations of McGee's. This is Gary's grandfather, one of my favorites too, with father and son. Mike was like about a month old, two months old maybe, when we first took him to a fair. And sharing the passion with fellow harness racers around the state has made the McGee's an even larger family. A lot of these people, I grew up with them. Because that's what we are, we're a family. We've known each other, like I said, for our whole lives. The county fairs is family. I think we've graduated to uh, almost mom and pop of the fairs. The pop of the fair's practice track has the new Shawno Hospital going up next door. But there are no plans to leave the farm or abandon their traditions. Fourth generation driver and uh, I'm still gonna wear the red and white just like the rest of the family did. It gives you some pride. For the McGee's, time has become like a flat oval where you're always coming home again.